Alone with Rob, the true nature of their relationship is revealed. Action. If you want to meet him, you can. Go down the calf. I want to stay here with you. Do you? Yeah. You are gorgeous and absolutely crazy about you. Listen, tonight, I'm going to go and have some fun. You love your cuddles, don't you? Just a mate. My brother's mate. You remember? He's in fashion. Lovely bloke. I'm into him for a couple of grand and... He's been patient. I like the use of both legs. So, if you could be nice to him a little bit. No. Why not? Got somewhere else to be. Here you go, mate. Okay, so basically, what I've just filmed is um, Whitney has had sex with a bloke. Uh, I've forgotten his name now, Chris. Um, for Rob as a favour, and that's all in her head. Obviously, she thinks it's just a favour, but. Obviously, to the audience, it's 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 like, God, are you crazy, woman? Get out of there! But obviously, she's not going to listen. So, what you've just seen is what is going to happen, basically. <sighs> yeah, but I'm going to go and get a cup of tea now and have a little break. Where is she? Nothing. I'm, I'm all right. Just give me your phone. What are you going to do? Call the police. And say what? Have you got a better suggestion? Well, we can go and get Ricky, my dad, and a few other blokes to come back. Maybe for which I just don't know if there's enough time to go home, get everybody and come back. Yeah. Time is running out. Whitney! You coming or what? Having pushed everyone away, Whitney's story is about to take a nasty turn. Whitney does believe that her and Rob are in love. I think she thinks it's a fairy tale love story. I love you. Look so tasty. You do. <laughs> you know you do. You're not getting around me. No. We've seen Whitney fall for lies from men in the past. And Rob's, unfortunately, just another addition to that list of men who've, who've told her what she wants to hear. This is Chloe. Chloe, say hello to Whitney. Hi. When Whitney meets Chloe for the first time, um, she can sense that Chloe doesn't want to talk to her at first. There's a lot of blokes here, isn't there? You're going to tell me about it. So I'm glad you're here. Lighten the load. What are you talking about? Chloe, in the end, tells her what she's here for, basically. So what did you think we were doing here? I thought this was a party. <laughs> it's a party, all right. A party for them. Oh, it's horrible. It's awful. If you're nice to them, they'll give you a break. I'll give you a sandwich. For Whitney, the terrible truth is finally clear. No. You're gonna go in that room and make my friends out there. Or I'm gonna have to hurt you. No. <laughs> Mom! Right. Help me, Mom! Please help me! Please. <laughs> totally alone. There's only one person who can save her now. <laughs> At a secret filming location in North London, okay, Whitney's storyline is about to reach its climax. Um, action. <laughs> so this is Whitney's big escape. Um, Rob has just said, you're going to make my friends happy or I'm going to have to hurt you. So she's got no choice. <laughs> Whitney's going to climb out the window. Um, and run off into the night. 
It's decision time for Whitney and stunt time for Shona. Guys, we used real glass window because we felt that the proximity of the angles, it wouldn't look very good if we used fake toffee glass. So she actually broke a real window. Shona and her stunt double prepare for her escape. Before I got into acting, I really, really <laughs> dreamt of becoming a stunt woman. I'm not scared of heights. I wouldn't mind it being higher, actually. I quite like the adrenaline rush you get. She's doing surprisingly well. She's really getting, getting through it very fast. She's got a lot of confidence now. I, I would like to do the jump, but they won't let me. So. Bob inside will have you on one line. I'll have you on a second line. Mm -hmm. One gives and one takes, so we'll be feeding you in and out at the same time. So you're on two points of contact at all the time. So you can't go anywhere. We have some crash mats on the floor, but that's more for the landing with a double later on. Okay. Action. Shona is attempting to climb out a top floor window. She goes as far as she can, and then she has to hand over to the professional. We get her to jump from here down, and in the editing, it'll match in with uh, what Belinda's required to do, which is jump from all the way up there, up the top. She looks good. One, two, one, go. To finish the stunt, Whitney 2 helps Whitney 1 into position. In her darkest hour, far from the safety of Albert Square, Whitney Dean found the courage to save herself. She's just running tonight and she's terrified. You know she's got away from them, but you don't know where she's going. It was dark and then she was just gone. Can you just call me? What if none of us ever hear from her ever again? So we know that Whitney's safe. I don't think it's the last we've seen of Whitney Dean. I hope not. I hope that she um, can change what happened to her. <laughs> but will she find her way back to Albert Square? <laughs> Let's hope so. There has to be a positive outcome, I think. I think she's got a lot, of, a lot more to give, I think. Yeah. She's a fantastic character. Uh, fingers crossed that she'll be around for a long time to come. I'd like Whitney to get a good job, find a nice, geeky, quiet boyfriend for her and just settle back into her family. Shona is just growing and growing as an actress. I think she's a really, really beautiful actress to watch. In three or four short years, she's become a real iconic presence on the show. And Shona's a brilliant actress. I don't think we've seen half of what she's capable of yet, and I hope she'll be with us for many years to come. So now working with her so closely, it's really fun, really good fun, because it's like working with one of your best mates. This is big stuff, you know, and I'm really, really lucky to have done that, and, yeah, I'm really happy, and I hope it, I hope it carries on. If you missed tonight's EastEnders, it plays here on BBC Three at ten. Next, Adam's putting in the hours. I mean, Chris Moyles and Comedy Dave worked through the night for their world record marathon last week. But although Adam's shifts aren't as long as 52 hours, they do feel like it. Brand new Junior Doctors is next. <laughs>